Hey there, Mr. Shifley here. Today we're gonna draw a cow. Why a cow? I, I don't know, I just wanna draw a cow, okay? And I just wanna have fun drawing. And that's all I hope from you too. I hope that you have fun drawing. Right now I'm not giving out any specific assignments or grades or even any like harsh feedback. I just want you to have a bright spot of your day where you can forget about anything else that might be bothering you and just draw. Okay, so I know my cow is going to have blue spots. So I'm going to start off with a really light blue so that, you know, if I make any mistakes, I can just cover them up with a cow spot or something. So let's see, here is a rectangle for the cow's nose. And I'm going to curve this up here, this the side of his head. I'm going to curve another one there and curve a third one down here. It's like a 3D box, but it is curving up this way because this cow is an organic shape. But then there's some, you know, geometric shapes in here that I can use to help me draw it a little bit better. Let's see, draw some hair on top of its head. I'm gonna see one eyeball right about here and the other one's gonna be right over here across the street, but you're just gonna see the back of it just a little bit. And cows have these enormous, huge, cute eyelashes, usually. So I'll put a big eyelash on there. And a nostril, a nostril. Curve this mouth up a little bit. Give it a little chin underneath. So there's my cow head. Looks like I need an ear right here. That's like the stem of the ear. And here it is coming out like that. Over on the other side of the head, you can see just a little bit of this ear poking out. I didn't quite get the shape just right, so I can fix that later with my black Sharpie. Let's see here. I'm gonna have the neck here. That kinda come out like that a little bit. And its body is gonna, let's see. Here's the shoulders. here all right so this kind of thing is the body here um, if I'm going a little too fast for you just pause sorry if I, I kind of took off there I got excited all right um, let's see so this is the front part of the body this is the back part of the body here I'm gonna have one shoulder popping out like this Coming down here, it's making this upside down teardrop shape. And then it's gonna join the knee right there. And then let's put this part of the leg right there like that, a foot and a hoof. Cows sort of have this little, they have two parts to their hoof. Okay, let's see. Um, Here's the leg, the leg that's farther away, back behind the body here. The knee. Let's see, put the foot right about there. And another hoof. All right. See, now I know I'm like, oh, I need to straighten up that neck a little bit. It needs to go more like that. You know, so it's okay. It's okay because, you know, that could just be a cow spot later on. It's all right to make a mistake. Okay, back here, I need to figure out where I should put each foot. So I'm kind of going back in this direction a little bit. This foot should just be a little bit higher than that one. If he's just standing still there. It might be more interesting if the, you know, one of the legs is kicking or something. And then kind of go back here for like a little heel. So we have the foot here. And then swoop that up there, curve line up to the body. And then there's the top part of the leg. Let's see, so this is kind of like the knee right about here. Gotta curve that back part there like that. 
Let's see. So I need one more. A cow has four legs. So I'm going to put another foot. It's going to be just a little bit smaller and a little bit higher up the page here so that I know that it is actually a little bit, it's a little bit further away. Because that leg and that foot are behind. Okay. So I think I have everything sort of mapped out. Just one last thing. I need to put a tail on it. So there's my cow. Now I just need to think about what kind of spots to put on it. And I'm always thinking about my mom and her sisters when it comes to cows because they grew up on a dairy farm. So their favorite kind of cow is a Holstein, which that's one of those cows that has those big black spots on it. But instead of black spots, this one's going to have big blue spots. Now on the head, it's got one big black spot on this side and another big black spot on that side. I'm Like I said, I'm doing blue spots. And then for fun, I'm going to give it a big old pink nose. Okay. And then Let's see, I'm going to have a huge black or blue spot here, and another big blue spot here, and a kind of a stripe that curves around the body, and a couple more big spots before they get littler and littler as they get closer to the back of the body. Maybe I'll put some little spots there on the legs. There. So there's the spots. Now I think I just need to go in with a Sharpie and really bring out some of the lines that I like. Okay, I'm going to come in here with a Sharpie now. Really bring out these eyelashes. Fill in most of it except for one little shiny spot. Look, I'm going to add some. Before this cow was looking pretty boxy, but now I'm just really going to come in here with a curved line to give this cow a little more life. Look, I'm going to put a couple eyelashes you can see on that side too. We're just drawing for fun today. Sometimes you just need to draw for fun. Now I'm really having fun. I'm putting a little beard on my cow. Just a little. Just some whiskers. Do the inside bit of the ear here. I might want to put a little shadow back here. So the way I did that was I just imagined the sun 
hitting the cow and then the shadow just kind of goes straight behind it like that. Just doing, just doing some hatching for that. I'm not being super precise about it either. Like I said, this drawing is just for fun. Okay, there's my cow. And, you know, I had fun drawing this and I hope you had fun too. And if your cow looks a little different than mine, that's fine. Maybe you didn't do Holstein spots. Maybe you did like, like lots of little polka dots. Yeah, or maybe your cow has like really big horns coming out of its head because it's actually a bull. And let's see, here's another idea. Maybe it has like six or seven or eight or nine legs because it's actually a mix between a centipede and a cow. It's like a centipede cow and its body's really long. Oh, you, you've seen a cow like that before. Oh, it's behind me. Oh, oh yeah, I, I knew that description sound familiar. Anyway, have fun drawing. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.